told you I'll be back. So it's day two. If you haven't checked out day one, it's the Do Yourself Inspired Crystal Bracelet. I'm definitely be wearing this like a lot, a lot in my style videos. And I was shopping online. And if you shop on eBay or Etsy, you see like a wide variety of different styles. But I was like totally obsessed with this and I wanted to make some iPhone cases just to like, you know, update my phone. You guys been requesting me to make some, show you how I would do it and also make it more convenient. I was inspired to do a mirror case just because I do get like stuff stuck in my teeth all the time when I'm eating and it's good to have like a mirror to check your lipstick too. I came up with this spin for the mirror case and um, it's something that you can find at the craft store and a spin with pearls too. So let's just get started. I'm using hard phone cases that I got from 5 Below for $5 each. You can definitely get it for cheaper. A pair of scissors, a pencil, and pretty paper prints. I'm using card stocks. You can also print your designs for a personal touch too. Flip back to the paper and measure about a half an inch around the phone cover. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you wanted to, use an X-Acto knife and a ruler to make it precise. But you can also trim it later on to when you have excess paper left over on your cover. Guess who came to visit? Mr. Mod Podge, your buddy for this tutorial. He's going to hook you up. Foam brushes and aluminum foil to prevent it from sticking to things like your table. Use the craft glue that dries clear like PVA too if you want. Add a thin coat to the back of your piece of paper. And then you're going to cut slits if you have any openings around your phone case. So that you can cover all that paper around the hard case. And make sure it's a hard case for the glue to stick. A lawyer, a teacher, a girlfriend, a preacher Thinking that they were to blame There's no need for hiding Cause when we stop fighting I'm done wrapping, now I'm swiping a thin coal all over the top and sides. Make sure to get the sides too. And let it dry in between each coat. So every 20 minutes you're going to add another coat. I added a total of 3 coats. I also did the same for the front side for even coverage. While that dries, print some logos or shapes. I Google image these and print them onto Microsoft Word to adjust the size to fit my phone cases. For my Chanel logo, I use craft glue as a way to glue the logo on first as a template option. I will show you guys another way in a little bit. So meet Super Glue E6000. It works great for embellishments. And you're going to need a small brush to apply this to the Chanel logo or any type of logo. You want to spread it out evenly. When I think of Chanel, I think of pearls. So I painted some in black. So it can like stand out from this adorable gold studded paper that I found at the craft store. And now I'm going to line a generous amount of glue to like hold the pearls all around the phone case. To hold it up, I used a pencil just to keep it in place while it dries. First project down, make sure it dries for 24 hours before you get to rock this. Doesn't this look like a Chanel ice cream sandwich? <laughs> Anyways, next up is adding a mirror inspired by my bunny case that I ordered. I found this at the craft store. I'm going to glue the heart on top of the protective film of the plastic mirror. I'm using super glue to glue it on top of my cute mouse. Again, let this dry for a day before you can sport it out. This is an option coming up. I'm using a glossy finish of a Mod Podge and it felt very sticky when I was holding it. So I sprayed a matte finish over it for extra protection from chipping. But you can also use a glossy finish if you want more of that sleek shine look. Now you can peel off your sticker and add some rhinestones if you want around your heart mirror. They were to blame. There's no need for hiding cause when we stop fighting turns out This is like screaming ultra cute. Now you have a mobile vanity case and I think guys need one too. So I chose a mustache just because anyone can rock it. Well, girls can rock the accessories, not the physical traits. 
With the pencil, outline your mustache that you printed out on the computer from Google Image. This is the fastest out of the all four tutorials that I'm posting right now because all you need is a permanent marker. You're going to color in your mustache. You can, you can give your case some hair and a bow tie if you want. It was inspired by the sellers on Etsy's. I know guys in general like their phones pretty boring, but let's add some bling with either beads or rhinestones. So he looks like he's wearing glasses now. Very sophisticated little buddy. Stop fighting. Turns out we're all just the same. You go one life so go live it. Games on so go win it. I'm done coloring my phone case. Now I'm going to add the mirror onto the back of the phone, right where the phone case has the hole at. It's usually where the Apple iPhone logo is at. Guys can check themselves in the mirror without looking obvious and I'm pretty sure they get stuff stuck in their teeth too. So this one is all about lace and I love this one. I wanted to buy this but I decided to make it. I added a thin layer of Mod Podge to the back in front of my lace ribbon just like we did in the first two cases with the printed paper. Now use super glue for your pearls and stones wherever you want. Add a few, add a lot like me. That's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this makes you want to make phone cases. Send your photos to the links in the info box so I can see your take on any of my tutorials like this phone case one. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!